Next, we have one of the lucky patients who was able to avoid full-blown lymphedema. Stephanie, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Can you tell us about your breast cancer and the treatment you selected? Well, my breast cancer was um, stage three, advanced, locally advanced breast cancer. I chose, um, I chose to have a bilateral mastectomy first, and then we proceeded with six months of chemotherapy, adromycin, cytoxin, and, and then 12 weeks of Taxol. I also did breast reconstruction and had my um, an oomphorectomy, which is having your ovaries out, being that my cancer was ER positive. And then I had 38 rounds of radiation, and I'm currently on tamoxifen right now, which is a, a hormonal blocker. So your doctor suggested a bioimpedance spectroscopy test prior to your surgery, is that yes, correct? Yes, she did, yes. And that was a great thing for you. Can you tell me why? Well, it, it gave me a baseline uh -huh. before surgery. It gave me a baseline of where I was at pre my bilateral mastectomy, and I get one every three months, actually. That's, that's great. So you have never been diagnosed with lymphedema then? I've never been diagnosed with lymphedema. You know, I've been very proactive. I got right in and I started doing therapy. I was fitted for a compression stocking and a glove for when I fly or go up to high altitude. What do you feel the emotional impact of lymphedema could have had on your life? Horrible, <laughs> horrible. As a matter of fact, before I had my mastectomy, it was almost more of a fear because it's, it's disfiguring. I mean, it's, right. and if you look at pictures of lymphedema, it's awful, and you know, as a 41-year-old woman, facing, you know, losing your breasts, having reconstruction, and also fearing, you know, your arm blowing up, and it's very fearful. And then actually, I had an aunt who had lymphedema, and I remember as a child, a great, great aunt, her arm was very, very large, and it wasn't until after my treatment that my mom told me that it was lymphedema because she didn't want to scare me. But back then, I mean, this is like, you know, 35 years ago, there was nothing they could and do And they couldn't it. do anything for her then? No. There was no. no, not even a compression garment? Nothing, no. Nothing? No. So they, she just suffered with this arm? Yeah, she lived her life with a very large arm. It was very debilitating. Mm -hmm. What's the outlook for your future? I see good things in the future and treatments that are available now that weren't available 10 years ago. Right. It's amazing. So I thank God every day that, I know this is crazy, but that I was diagnosed now and not 15 years ago. Well, what would you tell other women about avoiding lymphedema who are facing surgery and or radiation for breast cancer? Really research your doctors. Find a doctor that um, treats the whole person, not just removing the cancer. The misperception out there is, oh, you're a cancer survivor. It's done. Right. Oh, yeah. But there's so much you need to think about that could happen after. And you know what? It's so true because um, after... It, when you're done with your treatment, everyone thinks you're done. Mm -hmm. And with breast cancer, it's not that way. It's just not that way. It's, it's a journey, and it gets better with time. But your journey actually begins when your breast treatment cancer ends. 